So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get started with barcodes, which basically means how do you add them to your items. Now, there are several ways to go about doing this. Um, first off, the easiest way to start using barcodes, especially if you've never been using them at all in your life, but this is the first time you're going to use it in your business, I would recommend turning on generate barcodes automatically for your internal barcodes as a starting point. That's just going to automatically, once you click that checkbox, ask you this question, do you want to automatically generate barcodes for your existing items that don't have one? And you just hit yes. It'll just automatically populate them with numbers. If you already have a couple of barcodes in your Katana account, you can also overwrite the existing ones for every item. Now, what is this doing? It's creating a unique barcode for every single item on your account. And it's also creating a unique barcode for every single batch on your account. So everything is ready to go. All you have to do is print labels and put it on your stock. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's super straightforward and simple to get started with barcodes if you've never used them before. So I'm not going to turn that on for the time being. Next, I'm going to talk about the type of customer who has already used barcodes in the past within their business, but needs to use it in Katana. So I'll keep that off for the time being. Um, so let's say that you already have existing items in your inventory that have barcodes. So the question is, is how do I put those into Katana? Well, there's a couple of ways. If you're a brand new customer and you need to import your items because your items aren't in Katana already, there's a way to do that with any uh, with using the imports from Spreadsheet. Secondly, if you have been using Katana for some time now and you already have existing items in your inventory with barcodes on them, but you just need to get that data into Katana, there's a way to do that as well using the update templates. So let's go ahead and get this started. But before we go into importing, what I want to say here on the settings screen is every single toggle switch provides the visibility if you need that type of barcode in your account. So if you need supplier item codes, turn it on. If you need internal barcodes, turn it on. And if you need registered barcodes, which doesn't apply to everybody, but if you do, turn it on as well. This makes it visible on all of the uh, imports as well as on all of the item, item cards and stock screen, etc. So you can use them when you're interacting with the Katana account. So next we'll go into the data import section and on the data import section, what I want to show you are the use case where you're adding products and adding materials for the first time, where you can also add the uh, barcodes that are relevant to those items. So I'll go ahead and download those and pull them up real quick on the template format. Okay, so here off to the right, I've downloaded the templates that are for adding new materials and adding new products. If you haven't seen the data importing video tutorial series yet. I won't cover those topics with these data imports, but I do want to show you what happens with barcodes with respect to importing barcodes on new uh, materials and products. So when these toggles are turned on, uh, on the advanced plan, you'll see the option to add the barcodes uh, here within these three columns. Now, you might be asking, well, how come I can add a supplier item code, internal barcode, and registered barcode? There should be four types of barcodes. Well, there are batch barcodes. Now remember, batch barcodes are applying to existing groups of batches that have a unique identifier. Not everybody uses batches. Only industries that relate to batch tracking will use batch barcodes. So what you are doing right now is you're assigning the unique identifiers to the individual materials and individual products. Now, supplier item codes, uh, if you have multiple suppliers, you can have multiple supplier item codes. So it's very possible to have a ton of variety with respect to barcodes in that reference column. And these are separated by a comma. So if you have 10 suppliers and you have 10 numbers, you'll have 10 of those numbers each separated by a comma. Secondly, the internal barcode would be the one that you choose for that item. And then the registered barcode will be the one that is usually applying to items that you sell like products, for example. And so uh, any of those barcodes would be used to 
work with the workflows in the future. Uh, and that's it. So you just upload this information after you put in all of your product and material variants, and then send it into your Katana account through the upload data option. So basically all I'm mentioning here is that barcodes can be added anytime you add a new item to your Katana account through a spreadsheet import. So that's how to do that. Um, a little trick that will come in very handy for you is I've got a barcode here on a book. And let's say that I wanted to add the barcode. I would go into um, my products that have barcodes on them. And I would have this spreadsheet open up on a laptop, for example. I can use a USB barcode scanner, highlight any of these items. Let's say I click here, scan the barcode, and it will automatically fill it out for me right there inside of my um, spreadsheet. So if you need to enter the data very quickly from that perspective, it's very easy to do. So the next case is, let's say that you've been using Katana for a while, maybe you recently upgraded your account, but you wanna add barcodes to your existing items. How do you go about that? Well, same, same work workflow uh, would apply here. Uh, down, but down here for the update existing products and update existing material uh, spreadsheets. So we'll download those guys. And this will just provide you a spreadsheet that has your existing products from your account already loaded into it. And then I've also got one for materials too. So the material one will be here. And so if you have those items already being used in your Katana account, all that this is going to do is provide you the same type of uh, worksheet to put it in very similar to the add new products and add new materials templates. And you'll find the uh, supplier barcode and internal and register barcodes in these columns here. So whenever you have the feature activated in your Katana account, then those options will become visible and available for you to use with your spreadsheets, for example. Now, what's the next case? Well, the next case is batch barcodes, right? So if your business is using batches in your production process or inventory warehouse management processes, then you can you need to be able to get your batch barcodes into your Katana account. Question is, is how do you do that? Well, there's two ways you can either use the add new batch lot numbers um, data here. So basically this will allow you to download data of existing batches that are for items that are in stock that don't have batch numbers assigned. And you can add new batches for that pre-existing stock as well as batch numbers and as well as batch barcodes. So let's open up one of those real quick and I'll show you what I mean. So in this add new batches uh, spreadsheet, what you see here is it's showing me a list of products and materials that are batch trackable, but don't necessarily have any batch numbers assigned to certain quantities. In this case, we're good, so I won't need to use any example here, but anytime you need to add a new batch number to a an existing group of stock that doesn't have a batch number, you can use this add new batches template to assign that new batch ID, but also assign the batch barcode right here from the batch barcode column. Now on the update stock levels and stock values template, what this will do is if you've already got pre-existing batches in your Katana account and you need to assign a barcode specifically to a pre-existing batch, you can use this one. So for example, maybe I have a batch 001 that uh, let's say uh, I got batch 004 presently in stock and those items have been fitted previously with a barcode that recognizes the batch. I can go in there, scan it, put the batch barcode into the account through the spreadsheet and then every time I'm using batches on the shop floor or anytime they need to be referenced through a lookup, I can use that, that barcode scanner to reference those items in the future. So those are the main ways to import barcodes for the different use cases, depending on your situation through a spreadsheet import. 
You can also check out the import tutorial series that talks more about batch numbers and the import uh, related information as it is uh, specified when you're working with batch numbers from that tutorial series. So next up, let's talk about how do I assign batch numbers to items specifically inside of the Katana app. So to do that, there's a few places where you can add batch number information, or sorry, barcode number information. And that would be directly from, let's say, uh, we'll look at the items list. And on the items list, you'll see the information of uh, the barcode inside of the item card. So for example, this item card, which is let's say coffee, uh, will have an, a registered barcode and an internal barcode. Now, since this is a product that I don't buy, you can see that only then will I activate supplier item codes if it's listed as something I buy, but it's not, it's something that I, that I manufacture. So for example, if this item has, let's say an internal barcode for this 500 gram pack of coffee, then I can scan it and it will fill it inside of Katana's item card like so. So if you just need to do one-off items, it's very easy to do it from this using as well a uh, USB uh, scanner. Now, going a little bit more into the different areas of the Katana account, for example, the stock screen, on the stock screen, there's your batch list. And in your batch list, you can also add batch barcodes to different batch numbers. So if I wanted to go here to like, let's say batch 005 and scan that out, I can do so just like that. And then this particular batch barcode will be printable and used on any of those items that have batch 005 associated with it. There's also a variety of other areas to add some of these item uh, barcodes to uh, when you're doing the workflows. And we'll cover those more as we get into the workflows later. But the main goal of this video was to show you the different ways in which you can add a barcode to existing items or existing stock.